Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here with just a really quick video because, well, we may just have had another DLC character teased for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although, please do note that we are using the rumor tag still because, obviously, it's not clear. Because if it was clear, we, we'd be, like, announcing it proper. Since pretty much the game is launched and people were able to dive into the code, there's been the idea that Erdrick from Square Enix's long-running and insanely popular Dragon Quest series would be added as a DLC fighter to the old Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that we're currently talking about. Basically, according to a reliable data miner, there were some code names that I believe have now been removed, but off the top of my head, I really can't remember, that pertain to characters that weren't actually in the game, one of these being Jack, which is believed to be Joker from Persona 5, and another one being Brave, which could be a reference to the Dragon Quest hero. How I hear you ask? Well, in Japan, in Dragon Quest, this class of character is called Yusha, which directly translates to Brave in English and I really shouldn't have to explain any more than that. And it just so happens that very recently, the game supervisor for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I'm very sorry, but I'm probably gonna butcher this, Kumazaki Shinya, recently took to Instagram and shared photographs of Kirby sitting next to what he referred to as Brave's Shield from Dragon Quest. Not surprisingly, this has caused rather a stir, and that's why we're reporting on it in this video. These are the pictures in question, and of course it could mean absolutely nothing, but let's be brutally honest, if it did mean nothing, it's a bit of a weird thing to post, isn't it? Especially so recently after the names were removed. I double-checked. They were. Kirby is, of course, kind of like the poster child for Super Smash Bros, at least in Masahiro Sakurai's eyes, because he done gone and created him, didn't he? There's nothing really more to say on this that isn't just pure speculation, so I'll do something very briefly. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think this is true, basically. I think this is intentionally supposed to be referring to the fact that we, you know, that it was datamined and discovered that there was the code name Brave in there, and it makes a lot of sense for Dragon Quest to get some representation in Smash, given just how ruddy massive it is in the Japans and the other places. But only time will tell. Hey, for the time being, let us know what you think in the comments down below, and I'm just gonna say goodbye. Oh, wow.